crash outside of BMC this morning. BMC is Boston Medical Center. My school, the med school, we are both affiliated with BMC. We're located right next to the, the um, hospital, etc. Now, for those who are unfamiliar with Boston, there is a very, very, very prominent opioid crisis in this city. And there are a lot of people that hang around BMC, lots of drugs, lots of people under the influence. And this is not to make a generalization, but I've been here for three years and this is what I know to be true because I walk to and from school a lot. <laughs> And I see it with my own two eyes. So I don't want to jump to conclusions, but it very much could have been someone under the influence, running into the street, etc. It very much could not have been. And that's why I don't want to jump to conclusions. However, whoever it was, that's very sad, very tragic. I hope that they rest in peace. I hope that the driver can forgive themselves, um, given given that it was an accident, because again, I don't know. It's a tragic situation all around, um, but wow, it's kind of crazy. Anyway, switch perspective a little bit. This morning I'm seeing a patient. Um, this patient has dentures. He has an implant over denture on the bottom and he needs uh, his o rings replaced, which basically adapts the denture to the implant, helps it seat firmly, be retentive, and not rock in his mouth. I have them in my locker, so I need to go back and get them. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna get that done for him today. It should be a pretty quick appointment, let's pray. Um, I'm gonna finish setting up now, just sign into my computer, and I'll see y'all soon. As you all can imagine, everyone's patients are super late because of the accident, um, the, the street, next to my school as well as in front of my school are completely shut off so i'm afraid that my patient might not make it because there's ice on the ground the bus isn't coming as close to school as it usually does man that kind of sucks i mean like sure it sucks for me but i can always get him back another time i just hate that he's stuck out there like that you know but hopefully everything's going to be okay so the good news is my patient showed up. The bad news is I have to present at our group practice meeting in 15 minutes. And as you can see, I'm cleaning up. It's right upstairs. Um, the presentation is not anything daunting. So it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, I waited for my patient. They ended up coming around 9.45. So, not horrible timing. Um, the reason why I waited is because I knew it would be a relatively quick appointment. But, we were having some hiccups, can't lie. Everything got squared away, everything was good. So, now, I'm going to head upstairs for the group practice meeting. Okay. Oh, it's raining? Oh, it might be raining outside. It's not raining. Okay. Group practice meeting done. Patient done. I'm walking to my one o'clock class. It's currently 12.39. Um, so yeah, low key a hectic morning. Like I said, there was an accident um, and this whole street was shut down. I'm about to show y'all the street. So this whole street that's in front of the school, not here, but going down that way. Like if you go down this street, the hospital is right over there over there that area down there and apparently someone got hit by a salt truck or a snow plow or something 
terrible. I mean, that's unfortunate news, but that's what caused the hold up all morning. So, about to go to class. One class today, 1 to 2.30. Gym after. I'm excited for the gym, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I'll see y'all in class. I changed both, so the problem's gonna go away. He goes, oh, okay. So did you change my implant? God damn it! <laughs> no! <laughs> I was like, yes. He goes, do you need to change these? Bro. I said, bro, I, I gotta go to it had to be more than seven. It had to be more than seven. It had to be more than seven, bro. Where have you been? Nobody knows me. So, 2.45 and I'm home from school. I can't remember the last time I said that. It feels great though. And I'm about to go to the gym when I change. I'm wearing this sweater to the gym. This is the Gymshark rest, rest day sweater. Why was it $50? I mean, it's nice, but $50, $50? That's a little crazy. I remember back in the day when I was just a young pup. If I told my dad I wanted something that was $50, that was a birthday present, you did? Nah, but in, in all actuality though, inf inflation is kind of crazy. Like $50 for a plain sweater from Gymshark. Whatever, anyway, today was an eventful day at school. Um, but right now, I don't want to think about school. I'm about to go to the gym. It, yo, I mean, like, my thoughts are everywhere right now. But number one, in case you were living under a rock, earlier today I dropped a video with Dr. Kasberg, so go check that out. Number two, ain't it kind of weird that, like, y'all basically live life with me? Like, I don't know why I've kind of been realizing that, like, more people, as of recently, have been telling me, like, Oh yeah, I've been watching your videos since your first year or since your second year. We finna graduate together. Like, me and you, y'all graduated with me. <laughs> I don't even know why I think about it like that. But I'm, I appreciate y'all, for real, honestly. I appreciate y'all for being along the ride. I appreciate y'all for supporting me on YouTube, supporting me like through my journey to become a dentist. I appreciate it all. And, um... On top of that, thank y'all for watching, honestly. I couldn't, you know, I mean, I'm not going to say I couldn't do this without y'all because, uh, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. I can pick up a camera and record without y'all, but I can't get the channel out there without y'all. I can't do the scholarship without y'all. I can't do a lot of the things that I do on this channel without y'all, so I'm honestly appreciative of y'all right now and I'm uh, not right now I'm appreciative of y'all and right now I'm having like a little moment of reflection but I'm rapping talking too much about to go to the gym so gonna change and we gonna go the other day one of my friends called me Mr. Consistency I really like that because Consistency is something that I hold very close to myself. I know that being consistent in this life can get you a lot of places. It can help you accomplish a lot of things, but it also helps me stay grounded. So that's the reason why I consistently go to the gym. That's the reason why I consistently make YouTube videos. I feel like if I continue to show up for myself at the gym, or if I continue to show up for my subscribers on YouTube, then good things will come out of it. And I think that doing these things kind of teaches you the importance of delayed gratification. If you continue to work on something day by day, eventually the results will speak for themselves. So I really like that someone called me Mr. Consistency and it kind of just made me think about, you know, why do I consistently do all these things? And I guess that's the reason why I believe in what's going to result from it in the long run. What's up, y'all? As you can see, home from the gym. Please ignore my wet do-rag. I just showered and washed my hair. I got this big old package right here from Fabletics. 
issue. All right, why not do an unboxing? Unpackaging. Um, I low-key already know what they sent me, but I mentioned before in the vlog that um, I was going to be on Fabletics website. The program is still kind of like rolling out, but uh, they've been sending me clothes since like uh, September, October. I don't know. Uh, and yeah, this is one of the bigger packages that I've gotten. So I got a gray underscrub. I actually have the uh, black underscrub on right here. Is this a t-shirt? Long sleeve one. So another long sleeve. Now I got black, blue, and gray. This. A uh, heather blue underscrub. A navy scrub top. Ooh. I might have to edit this out because I think some of the stuff hasn't been released yet. So I'm going to check on that when I'm editing. Uh, boom. What's that? Royal Blue Scrub Pants. Another one. Different style. Royal Blue Scrub Top. That's everything. Lots of stuff. I have to take pictures. Ooh, something else in here. This is, oh, I think this is like a wine voucher they'd be sending. Naked wine voucher. Uh, yeah, so I have to take the pictures this weekend or ASAP before they gave me a due date, but it's none of y'all business. Um, so now, like I said earlier, I am going to start studying. I have an exam next Friday, which is February 2nd, but I've been like, low-key kind of chilling in January now it's January 24th I'm like you know let me not procrastinate while I have time so I'm gonna study I'm gonna shoot for two hours today it's 609 so if I study till eight o'clock like that's a pretty that's a pretty solid day of getting stuff done I also have some patients to call so I might try to get that done uh and yeah I will see y'all later when I'm finished dinner I am finally done studying. That's how I feel. I wanted to close that so bad, but I did my two hours like I said I would. As y'all saw, I had to make some food in the middle because I was starving. Um, but, you no, know, talking on camera while eating is crazy. Hold on. All right, so as I mentioned, I did my two hours of studying. I made some food and it is 8.02 p.m. I'm about to take it down for the night, wind down. I have a perio surgical assist at 9 a.m. tomorrow, so back at it in the morning, okay? Um, aside from that, I hope y'all enjoyed today's vlog. A lot went on. Um, I actually, I don't know if I mentioned this in the vlog, but I actually ended up Googling what happened. Um, what happened uh, in front of school. Because this morning was like very hectic. So if you go on the Boston 25 News, it says a woman was struck and killed by a plow's truck outside of Boston Hospital, BMC. Um, it says that emergency crews responding to a report of a pedestrian struck at the intersection of Massachusetts Avenue and Albany Street. Albany Street is the street that my school is on. Massachusetts Avenue is the street that I walk down to get to school that the bus takes us right down to get to school it goes right down Mass Ave turns on Albany that whole street was blocked off my bus took a detour I didn't even know what was going on I was on my phone I looked up we on a street I never seen before then like the class group me is buzzing everyone's asking why is like their GPS saying it's gonna take so long what's going on blah blah, blah. someone posts a picture of the street shut down um, it says it happened uh, just before 3.20 a.m. And the woman was pronounced dead on at the scene. Um, it's really sad, bro. Like, damn. 
that's really unfortunate and I hope everything is okay um geez three o'clock in the morning and yeah well okay sorry i don't want to end on a i don't want to end on that note i'm sorry um yeah today was a hectic day uh a lot happened as you can see however we made it through the day as usual not gonna complain it's 805 the day is over tomorrow's a new day um Thank you all for watching. Also, the video with Dr. Casper getting so much good feedback right now. I think this video is the first one that I can compare to my the third video I ever made, third or fourth, which was how I got into dental school with a low GPA. This is the first one to like really get a lot of comments on the first day like that one did. Um, and I... I just want to go on record. I'm I respond to all comments. I'm going to get around to it. I just it's been a long day, okay? I'm probably going to sit on my couch and do that now while I watch NBA and relax. Um, but all that goes to say, I want to go on record on camera saying I truly appreciate all the feedback, all the comments, the kind words, the Instagram DMs, everything. Like I put a lot of work into this channel and it's very rare that i like boost myself or like say oh this is a great idea or, oh i'm like i'm a genius or something like that because i don't know I'm, I'm not but um just like for people to say like oh this is such a great idea this helped me so much or even like classmates other dental students that say like this would have helped me so much when i was a pre-dent this was a great idea blah blah, blah. like it truly means a lot um because I don't really, honestly, like, I don't think about it that much. Like, I just make the content and go. I think about, will this help one or two people? And if I think it will, then I make the video if I have the time. Um, but I never really think about, like, how many people benefit from the channel, the videos I make, anything like it's very hard to feel that personal relationship with your subscribers. Like when it's just a view count, it's a lot better. Like, honestly, bro, like I could name not name, but like when someone comes up to me in person and they say their name and they've commented on a video before, I immediately it don't matter if you commented on one video and there's like 185 videos on my channel i remember the names because it's just so much more personal than a view count um and like it's happened before like someone has said their name and i said i know you maybe it's because they followed me on instagram afterwards or something like that but i remember the names like don't think especially the people that comment frequently marta tonkin uh, hour, hour nine. I don't know your real name. I'm sorry, but frequent commenter. Uh, Dante Butler used to be one. He's a D1 at Texas Tech now, so it's not, you know, I know how it is. Probably doesn't even have time to watch the YouTube channel anymore, and I get it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, these are the people that really make me feel a personal connection to my subscribers and, you know, really make me feel like, oh, sorry, Instagram popping really makes it seem like, you know, this is all worthwhile. So shout out to everyone that gave me kind words today. Uh, shout out to everyone that, um, sorry, someone called me and I got sidetracked, but I was a rapping anyway. So y'all know how that, how I get when um, I start to feel like I'm talking too much. Thank you to everyone that watches my videos. That's all that goes to say is thank you to everyone that watches my videos. And thank you even more if you're someone that comments, reaches out to me, etc. I love y'all. Uh, that's all. Thanks for watching today's vlog. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.